Thank you. Avery, 15 plays on that last drive to score a touchdown. Just uh, what's the mindset going into that drive and then obviously finish, finishing it off with the touchdown? Yeah, we knew we needed to um, finish the drive strong and put the game away. And just credit to those guys up front. You know, uh, 15 plays isn't easy. And um, they dominated. We pushed the ball down the field and ultimately got in the end zone. So credit to, credit to my teammates. Yeah, Avery, as a true freshman, how did your confidence kind of progress throughout this game, passing and running the ball? Um, really, I just try to carry myself with confidence throughout everything that I do. Um, and credit to my dad always for just making, making sure I'm, I'm confident in myself. And, you know, when you have teammates and coaches and players, like, you know, players around you that are confident in your ability, it just ultimately makes my job easier. So um, credit to them once again, just, you know, making my, making my job easy today. Avery, this time last year you were a high school kid. Now you're 19 years old and you're a bowl game MVP. What's this last year been like? Um, you know, it's been a lot of ups and downs, a lot of learning. And when you come into coming to college, you don't really know what to expect. And I'm, I'm so happy I chose Kansas State. I'm so happy I got to be around these players and these coaches because um, they truly do care about you. And it, it really is a brotherhood and it really is a family. And it's not like that at other places, and, and I'm 100% sure of that. So. Um, Whenever you have people that care about you um, in the facilities, in the locker room, it just really makes going out and, and putting your head down and working easier. Avery, uh, you know, you really impressed on those scramble drill plays, uh, you know, particularly that touchdown to, you know, near the end of the first half. Uh, on those specific plays, what are you kind of looking for? and? Do you sort of have a clock in your head of you know when it's time to throw the ball away or when it's time to try and make a play? Um, yeah, really, just it kind of goes. It's kind of weird. Um, Pre-snap, when you get the coverage and and I go through my read and I don't like um, necessarily what we have, um, then I kind of get flushed out of the pocket and ultimately I just try to keep my eyes downfield and see if maybe if somebody pops open. If somebody does, great, hit them. Um, if not, tuck it down and run. And if at the end of the day, if there's nothing available, you just got to throw the ball away. But I was just trying to be um, smart with the football today and, and try not to turn it over. But at the same time, just kind of cut it, cut it loose and, and play a little bit because you can't play conservative with the, with the football. I mean, those guys have been doing it together um, for a long time. And all the, all the credit goes to them tonight just for you know, keeping me off the ground and um, allowing me to sit in a clean pocket and, and deliver footballs because um, some of that stuff is really underrated. Just being able to have a clean pocket, it, it makes my job 100 times easier. Um, so being able to send some of those guys off tonight um, with a victory and kind of propel ourselves into the 2024 season um, was just a great way to finish out our season. Yeah, Avery, on the, the final drive there, uh, you guys went for it on fourth down instead of kicking the field goal. How much confidence does that show from the coaching staff? Yeah, Coach, Coach Kleiman came out and grabbed me in the offensive line and said, we're finishing the game on offense. And um, credit to Coach Riley, credit to all those guys um, for believing in me and, and giving me the ball um, to go convert on that fourth down. But I mean, at the end of the day, um, the offensive line opened up the hole. And, and it's just for me to go you know, um, get the first down at that point. Hey, Avery, congrats on the win. What was it like um, playing today with Connor Riley calling plays instead of uh, the guy you had more experience with? Um, it was a lot of fun. And for it to be my first start and his, his first game as an OC, um, I had, we both had ups and downs. And um, I'm looking forward to growing with him and, and, and building with him. And just, you see, he really cares about this team. Um, he had fire to himself throughout practice, throughout this whole bull week, throughout the whole time we were down in Orlando. So he's really thankful to be in his position. And um, I'm really just, just happy to be able to, uh, throughout this whole week, just build a, a deeper relationship with him because he really does care about his players. Um, and at the end of the day, he wants to win just as badly as the rest of us. So um, credit to him. 
Avery, can you kind of take us through <clears throat> excuse me, that final touchdown to, to Jace? And obviously we know that you're, you're super close with him. And just how cool is it to be able to have that moment with him on this kind of stage? Yeah. Um, you know, we're roommates back home. Uh, came in together. Roommates down here in Orlando. Um, it just shows kind of the chemistry and the connection that we have. Um, so just being able to trust him, putting the ball in a place for him to go up and make a play, just being able to trust that he's going to go come down with it and make a play. Um, but that's just that's just him coming and grabbing me after practice, me grabbing him after practice, and then getting in a few extra throws. Um, but you know he's a big time playmaker, and he's going to be somebody to watch for the near future. So shout out, Jace. Thank you. Guys.